Project Capricorn. Thank you all so much for tuning in to you here. We're here with your, it's kind of cool, interesting. We're here with a little bit of a different, <laughs> a different environment um, and uh, an environment altogether. And it's, uh, it's uh, your Saturn retrograde reading that we're actually reading on. And uh, it's your time, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, okay, possibly there is a dub double whammy activation here for you of also Jupiter energies. And in fact, Jupiter is also retrograde during this time. So uh, it might behoove you to take a look at where your Jupiter sits in your personal birth chart. In addition, where your Saturn lies in your personal birth chart. Let's say if your sun is in Saturn in Capricorn, then uh, it, this would be speaking of matters related to your solar energies, uh, matters related to your fifth house, and ultimately the element of fire. If, for example, Capricorn, dear Capricorn, you have, uh, you know, even like Capricorn cusp being your second house, for example, then these energies might also speak to you of Taurus second house energies. Now, Cap, in addition, um, Venus is also retrograde, and Venus is the ruler of the second house, for example. So if indeed that is the case, let's say Capricorn is like cusping your second house, then there would be perhaps a really strong focus on matters related to Venus in general, especially during this time, given that uh, that sign um, archetype is, uh, you know, the planet sign archetype is in retrograde. So um, take it as you will, whatever you feel guided to take a look at. We've all got a Venus, we've all got a Saturn, we've all got a Jupiter. So for number three, there is something possibly that you feel you're at the sort of forefront of presenting, and um, it has to do possibly for number three with your with your social environment and your presentation with reputation in mind. So, dear, uh, dear, I, I'm hearing Scorpio for you as well, Sagittarius as well. Oh, they both want to speak out for you. Oh, oh Pluto is also retrograde. All right, fine. We got almost all planets are retrograde around this time here for you. So, um, a number of things possibly being brought up for review, right? What do retrograde cycles speak of in general? They speak of things that are being brought up for review to really reconnect with the with the archetype, the concept of that archetype and the space associated with it. How do we engage that archetype in our day-to-day, -day, everyday world in a way that is ultimately serving us, empowering, and um, you know, looking at, let's say, the higher vibration of Saturn and uh, really thinking, you know, is this, is this the way I see myself living my life? And, uh, you know, matters related to finance, matters related to the third dimension, the career, what are assets, you know, but ultimately what we create them to be. Um, and in other words, in other words, defining value. So what do we actually consider as something that we create with? What serves us in our space as a creator? And it's interesting because Capricorn is an earth sign, but it is very much so. And they, you know, they say practical, it's about functional, it's about, you know, they could say in a certain way conservative, being, being, being concerned with the constructive side of what they create. Um, connected to the earth, things like that. But we can say that so much so it is also related to the space of creativity, of creation. Because not only is it, let's say, you know, the vision that you have and the strategy that you put in place to carry it out and the action that you then sort of accompany that strategy with the plan with but also the sustenance of that storyline how we commit to that action how we carry it out continuously how we, we continue to believe ultimately in that space so you know the space of Saturn has its place right the place of Capricorn the energy in your chart everyone's got Capricorn somewhere the energy associated with the 10th house um, has its role, you know, it's not always to place these so-called feelings of like restriction. Um, again, it's a matter of how you channel it. So it's a wonderful time to reflect, you know, in other words, is this energy serving me? Am I in touch with my Saturnian energies in a way that is empowering ultimately? Am I in touch with my 10th house energies? Do I feel that I'm really accessing my gifts that are ultimately to be associated with the public? in some way and we see that you know even by way of the 10th house being the most public part of the chart so how it is that you're open to these energies and manifesting with them in a certain way may really become quite clear on the cycle for you so and i'm hearing sagittarius again for now you might have a sag rising or a sag on the on the ascent on the, i'm hearing on the ascendant twice um, but Sag on uh, maybe Midhaven as well. So, and I'm seeing the number four here, perhaps there's a focus for a number of you. There could be something that you feel you're actually bringing into form. And, um, you know, what is the concept of conservatism um, 
it's always a matter of how it's perceived, not necessarily as anything not in the way of politically, but take it as you will. Um, you know, there is so there are so many ways that we can sort of associate the concept of practicality. And so Capricorn is it can be considered a space where we feel guided to produce something. Um, it is again something of a space well, it is it is a desire to connect to form our dreams in a physical way. And so wherever Saturn may sit in your chart, you might find at times that you're very passionate about whatever that even subject matter is I'm hearing or that space may be in the context of the physical 3D, the realm of the dimension of influence that we can touch, taste, feel, smell, and interact with physically as giving measures to what we create. So in other words, like, you might, you know, the area of attraction associated with Saturn, you might find, well, I want to have like tangible measures of also progress in this space. I want to feel, and you might feel that you're most satisfied when you're able to kind of interact with in a way that is measured and carried out in a practical um, sort of uh, uh, structured space, the space of dreams. I'm dreaming about this concept. Um, so, Capricorn, um, there is a long cycle here we're working with, <laughs> and we start about in February, actually, with the cycle, and we end uh, about December with it. So, for a number of you, um, I think it is December or February, I don't know, December or January, um, January 3rd, 2021. Uh, so, it's really a time for review. It can be, it depends on how you always perceive it. Um, but, Capricorn, there is um, a. pre shadow period to the cycle. There's also. No, I'm hearing a moment of recollection and re renovation I'm here ultimately so you could actually be reviewing things um, it's funny because I turn and I see this little piece of like paper it's sitting on the grass here that has like information on it um, so it's got um, and I've seen this bus it's a circulator so I don't know what this ant is like biting me okay <laughs> There's something possibly that you are, oh dear, what's going on with all the chaotic uh, <laughs> ant biting, car honking, paper on the grass reading, uh, finding lost letters, putting everything into place, you know, well now is really, well what is place, right, in order, but uh, not to say that truth cannot be held in a space where there is the symbiotic relationship between chaos and harmony, but um, ultimately it may be a wonderful time to review what it is that you feel might be relevant to the space that you carry out in a way that makes you feel as well productive. So in other words, it's like really rounded, rounded out way of saying what makes me feel also relevant in the space that I create within in the 3D. For a number of you, there is possibly the concept of a virtual reality um, that might be associated with this space. And that might be, let's say, if you have also water overlapping with Earth, but there are so many factors to be at play. Hi, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, the folk out there. Um, and we're back. So thanks for connecting here with your Saturn retrograde reading. Let's jump into it. Wow, what a cycle here. Let's clear the energy and get good into it for you. See what might be at play. Uh, right off the bat though, I'm getting that there's something that uh, I'm hearing in this way. I was meditating your energy and I was getting that. It's interesting because, um, first of all, there's been a cycle here already at play. We've had the pre-shadow retrograde period. We've had the shadow retrograde period. For a number of you Capricorn, there are a lot of factors here, perhaps that you feel you've been in the process of really reviewing, really actually perfecting. And it's like, well, if this hasn't really felt right for me, let me, let me move it. I'm hearing, let me move it, let me move it in my world. And in the way that makes me feel like I'm in my world too. And so for a number of you, well, it's very interesting. Um, 
I'm actually seeing, I was meditating your energy, I was getting this feeling of like, you're getting very clear on boundaries and the role that it plays in your world. I'm hearing this Capricorn like, what is the purpose of, wow, it's so interesting because I just did a few readings. I turn the chair here now, right? And you're reading. And I see there's this one card that's sitting at the base of this, uh, behind the chair at the base of this, uh, beneath the carpet. So for a number of you, it's like just changing your perspective, changing your environment, okay? And following your intuition, right? I just literally shifted the whole set because I felt better this way. So, and by way of that, I found what I was also I'm hearing missing. So take it as you will. Um, let's though see what comes through for you. Capricorn. Okay, I'm hearing calm down. It's a big, it's a big wave, baby. All right, it's, yeah, I know. I'm seeing like someone standing at the shore. Capricorn, I'm hearing Scorpio with Scorpio. And it's like, and it could be your own energy. It could be also, it could be a, a particular uh, interactive space between you and another. Anywho, um, and Capricorn, yeah, I'm seeing like, it's funny. It's like, you just want to make everything right here. Okay, anyways. And I'm seeing you're like standing at the shore and it's like, you're looking off yonder and you're talking to the person next to you and they're like, yeah, don't worry. It's a really big wave. Like you guys are like surfers. Like I'm seeing it specifically. Like you're looking out of the water and looking at this wave and they're kind of telling you like, they're coaching you. I'm hearing specifically. And it can be your higher self, take as well. Um, but there's something that you, I'm here. It's so funny. You're becoming aware of like so many different things now. And I'm like, there, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm noticing things that I hadn't noticed before. I'm picking up on things that I hadn't picked up on before. And we already have already begun the, the pre-shadow period of, uh, and actually at this point of reading here, supposedly now, Saturn has already gone retrograde. It was on the 10th of May, 2020. And, um, you might be watching this a year later and it could still kind of speak of a certain cycle for you. Now, three cups here at the apex of the spread. I wish you saw that. The way that car tumbled out. It was like, I'm coming out no matter what. It literally flipped out right in between, landed in between. Look at this. Landed in between. It First, it was like this. It was like, it went like this and it went like this. Stood right there. Let's take this off so you can see this. Like this. And then as I'm talking about it, it just, it flips just like this. For a number of you, I'm hearing Scorpio, this is a confrontation with your, with your faith, the space of faith. For a number of you, there is a focus on a very long cycle, very long journey. And it was like, when is this going to end? Is this all right? I'm hearing, am I all right? <laughs> am I doing it all right? Why, why is it also taking so long? What's going on? And for a number of you, it was something that possibly you didn't, you felt like, you don't have all the answers too. And that's kind of part of it. Ten of swords of right. Yeah. It's like trying to figure something out. Four of cups with the ten of swords. Like some feeling that there's an answer, there's a certain direction. Where am I going? Where am I going with this? Where am I you know, what is what is the direction that I'm moving in? And at the end of the day, it's you're guided. I'm hearing it this way. Uh, through this process. And I'm seeing the number four here for it as a focus number for you. Um now the star here speaks of Aquarian energies it can, and the fool here as well. Now for number you though, I'm seeing it's like again very interesting. Like you're looking at the wave and it's like, okay. And I'm seeing a gun. Oh yes, I was going to say, I'm sitting on the chair and I'm starting to feel like the fabric, like beneath the, like on the, beneath me on the seat. But like, I've, I've been sitting on this chair for like a few months now. Never have I felt it like this. I'm feeling like picking up on it. I'm feeling the fabric. It's very interesting. Ten of Wands are right, Seven of Pentacles are right. And I'm having a reaction. I'm seeing Scorpio, I'm hearing Scorpio again. For now, you're having an activation of the Scorpio part of your chart. Eight of swords coming through, daughters of the universe. You're realizing also, like, the reaction that you feel to certain things. You're like, I, in a certain way, you're becoming clear on your reactions. Now, this is a space of dynamism. And I wouldn't be surprised to know, you know, yeah, at times that you might feel like, hey, I just want to get up and go here. I want to move here. I feel like oh, it's a very stimulating energy is what I'm getting, Capricorn. And the world falls on the ground with the moon in reverse. It's been a really long cycle. Not surprising, right? We have... The hand on the base of the, th the I'm hearing of the thread. Um, it is something that we felt possibly at times like we couldn't define. Again, I'm hearing this way, like a really abstract sort of process. And I feel guided to move this around again. 
Um, this has been happening in a few of the readings now. So Scorpio, I'm here, Scorpio. <laughs> Get going. Um, for now, you might be actually dealing with a Pisces. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. There could be, an, again, activation of these energies. Now, Jupiter is also retrograde during this time. Take note. Um, and, you know, always heat of personal intuition. There are so many factors at play. And, uh, again, what comes up for you at certain times will be different from one person to the next. Let's pull the cards here for you, Capricorn, and see here what comes through. There's a really strong focus. I just pulled this stack to bring it back to the main stack, and the Father Cup slid at the base, like, and I and I caught sight of it. So that's mirroring the Fool here. Uh, for Nuri, there could be a focus on that archetype. Um, and uh, here we go, the Six of Cups reversed. Now, for a number of you, Capricorn, there was something that you absolutely, like, you wanted. I'm seeing a bird flying by right here, look like a dove. I think that came through in the Scorpio reading, yeah. And again, I'm flipping here to the uh, Father Cups. Now, the Fool wants to come out again, tumbling out. Right next to the Six of Cups, Fool's in reverse in the deep pa in the recent past. I said deep past. Looking back at the Six of Cups, Fritter, you haven't let go of something. There's something that you've been... It could be a community that you're involved in. It could be a relationship. It could be someone that you are fascinated by. Some space and industry that you've been really curious about. I'm seeing that as well. Some of you definitely that are dealing with an Aquarius or somebody who's involved with that space heavily. Now, they could have also a lot of uh, Uranus in their chart in some way. Now, the Father Cups comes through here. Again, these, these two all want to be seen together. Father Cups here. I'm hearing a wall, A-W-A-L is in the current state, then in the energetic pathway leading into the current state is the Ace of Pentacles of Right. For number there was something that you wanted to even prove. I'm seeing that as well. This comes down as well to the concept of commitment. I'm hearing, where am I going? What am I doing? What is what does this mean? What 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 does it all sort of also add up to? And I'm seeing that there were a lot of questions here. Okay, and there was possibly a space of like even regeneration that may have been a focus um and i'm hearing creatively here comes the three of pentacles three is a very creative number it's in your advice i am going your themes to so take it as you will there could be a really strong uh, feeling that we're making a really a really strong uh uh i'm hearing decision here I'm hearing as a decision now two wands here but i'm hearing also um i'm hearing dynamic no no hold on i'm hearing direction clear now the seven of swords but i'm hearing it as like discovery assertion as well i'm seeing that this is something you feel you have to be like brave with i'm hearing with yourself but let's clear that hermit upright for me this is a private process but it's like somehow public as well like i'm seeing you're moving through a process that mm, high priestess you some of you dealing with a pisces some of you dealing with a channel or somebody's a medium it could be your own abilities that you're activating around this time father pentacle somebody has opened like relentless somebody wants to make something a uh, c uh, c confirmed of the space, like official. I'm hearing connection. I want to forge the connection for me. There is a vision, and you want to kind of like uh, it's a. Uh, it always takes you all right. It's a double reading, so it's up to you to interpret it in the way that you do, Capricorn, right? And I don't know what's going on in everyone's case, right? I'm just the medium here to try to channel the messenger. We can say to kind of channel the message, but ultimately, right? It's up to you in the way that you perceive it. It's up to you in the way you interpret it, and it can be interpreted in a number of ways. So. Take it as you will. All right. But you lead out here with the two of swords in your theme and the father wants. Remember, there's something that you feel, I'm here, it comes down to boundaries. You need to be very clear with perhaps as you might feel like, and I'm seeing maybe that was a theme for you as of late. Ace of wands of right, sword, sword of swords of right. Like this was something that recently, to say it in this way, you felt was like really, really important. Maybe even be it to set the boundary between your thoughts and your feelings and the action that's taken in relation to the two. You know, how do we perceive what we feel? And then what does that lead to the action space of? For a number of you, there was really a strong focus on um, where we felt conflicted possibly in managing our passion as well. And, you know, what role did our mind play in that? What role did our emotional, uh, you know, scape play in that? And what is our passion truly in relation to the space of, uh, of I'm hearing the character in the story in the novel. For a number you're dealing with a fire sign who you are in love with. There's a lot of love here. Let's not, let's not JK. I'm hearing rowling with this one. Four swords are, this is not like, I think I kind of, no, I know. I don't have to think. I'm hearing that. The sun of cups is in reverse though. With the sun of swords, right? Like, sun of swords is still working. Not done yet. Still researching. Still trying to figure out. <laughs> The algorithm to the emotions. What? Son of Cups like came in, said said their piece. I'm hearing made made their claim known. Son of Swords is still like, I need to see it to believe it, I'm hearing as well. So for a number of you possibly, but this comes down to it could be on the subconscious level. This comes down to yes, the reputation. Now I just pulled the Emperor. 
and the emperor just pulled out, came out themselves, four of cups in reverse, and the father of wands upright. This comes down to possibly like, and I'm seeing like, if you're a crossroads, you're dealing with a Capricorn, I'm not saying that this is something that they're consciously aware of possibly at times. This is something that possibly they are finding that they are um, physically, okay, um, preoccupied with the concept of father of wands upright, emperor upright, how do I represent this? If I do act on my actions, <laughs> very interesting. If I do act on what it is that I also feel so stimulated by to move in the direction of, what happens then? It's funny because I pulled the ace of wands with the son of cups this time and the four of cups came along in reverse, but the son of swords remained. So it's like, what is relevant really to the space in which we take action or what we feel? Okay, what role does again our mind play in that space? 11, 11 right there. Capricorn, and we have the father of wands here looking into the future. Mirroring in the mother wants in reverse. Okay, I'm hearing there's something you have not let go of. And it makes you happy. That's how you know that it belongs in your world in some shape or form. I'm hearing that as well. I don't know what that's like. That might be what you're feeling. Five of wands here. Upright mirror in the ace of pentacles. It might be what someone has told you. It might be what you've kind of like you came to realize. You come maybe, maybe, well, let's clear that. Six of pentacles are bright. Five of wands are bright. For me, it's this feeling of like, the way I know that I want this is that the feeling of having not addressed it is making me feel uncomfortable. The feeling that I feel that there is has yet to be something to create makes me kind of realize that there is a void of creativity that I haven't yet tapped into. This is about possibly with you and your higher self. I'm hearing that as well. What is your higher self? Take it as you will. But for a number of you, there's a huge take-home message here when it comes to the Father of Wands. It has to do with your moral ethic, I'm hearing, ultimately. When it comes to shaping your reality. The reality of others, I'm hearing, does not serve. In the space that you hold with your higher self and creating the life of your dreams, Leo, I'm hearing strongly. For a number of you, you're coming to the point of realizing no one else's rules, algorithms, I'm hearing schedules even, will deliver to me the package that I open. I'm hearing with my personal, I'm hearing identity. I'm hearing also creative potential. So for a number of you, this is something that you feel is an ability, is a potential that you see in yourself that is kind of it's a private process of, un, of of discovery the nine of cups i'm hearing meditating on even i'm hearing merging with the dream space the father wants upright the nine of cups upright for a number of you this is coming down to acknowledging and and, and appreciating the space in which you feel you can safely i'm hearing uh, live in that space interesting so for a number of you, this is like i want to tap into my dreams I want it to, I want to, I want, I'm hearing the shock right here, the nine of cups, let's clear that. I want, I want to, I want to, I want to uh, dream, I'm hearing, let's clear that. There's something that you want to communicate, I'm hearing as well. I'm feeling pressure in the, in the, I'm hearing crown, but in the mouth. So for a number of you, there's something possibly that you feel, you feel, you are intuiting, you feel intuitively, but you kind of are, um, you have this, this possible feeling that I'm not really acting on that. Okay. Potentially for a number of you, you're just you're wanting to, you're waiting for the space that feels like the right space to act on it. Now we have here the Ace of Swords. What is the right space? This could be also the energy of another. This could also be what someone is kind of telling you or outlining for you. So, it, you know, whether or not you feel like this is the direction that you want to move in, takes you to the Father wants to reverse. Yeah, in fact, for well, this is a very uh, complicated storyline because there's also a past. Now we just split here to the Hangman in reverse. Yeah, there's someone here who you have been dealing with. They are, I'm hearing a partier. I'm hearing that 10 of cups upright, strength of upright. They, um, and always take as you will, so many factors to be at play. I'm feeling pressure in the sacral chakra. And, you know, what do we associate with a party, the concept of a party? It could be metaphorical, again, up to you to interpret it, right? Can't say, hey, this is what this speaks to, this is what this speaks to you, so you have to be in charge of how you're channeling that. Very interesting. This could be you with yourself, I'm here, Scorpio, Capricorn, really thinking, like, very closely about how do I want to channel my creative potential? And you might be telling yourself, hey, I have to be the one who directs that space. Now, for a number of you, this is something that you feel you're even uncovering or you're discovering. You're even, re well, you are re-recognizing. And it has to do, again, with your public image. The strength card here, upright, and the ten of pentacles, upright. Now, you have the justice card as well. For a number of you, possibly there's a decision that you feel you are to make. The sun in reverse. There is a focus on timing, possibly. In the uncovering the sort of revelation space of this dream. Now, for a number of you, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm here. Calm down, calm down. Okay. There is again a past, and there is somewhat of a cycle. I'm hearing a series of events, possibly even that you feel um, you are even. Well, there's an activation happening. Death coming through right there in reverse. You better believe it. There is a lot that you feel possibly you're letting go of. You're releasing. You're clear. You're recognizing. 
that you are letting go of. Interesting. It's like, well, I realize I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really operating in that world anymore. So it's in a certain way, I'm hearing a regenerating. Wow. So it's like, you're recognizing, let's clear that one second. I'm hearing you're coming to recognize your talents. Let's clear that. This has to do with your environment for a number of you. So social groups, you're realizing like, I don't really feel like I connect with that anymore. I'm hearing, I don't really feel like that's my my title. I'm hearing my name. I'm hearing switch, switch, ace of swords and reverse, son of pentacles. Let's clear that. Daughter of pentacles are right. Look at the son of pentacles. Somebody wants also to take their vision and they want to apply it in the third dimension. So for a number of you, again, we're saying, you know, the playfulness here. Um, partying, right, with a hangman in the ten of cups. This could be somebody who is, again, take it as you will, could be interpreted in a number of ways. What does partying mean, right? Not just one way of interpreting that. It's always take it as you will. But there is perhaps a focus on what in the world I'm hearing we create. And there could be someone here who sees that that space is their world. Let that sink in. I don't know what that's going to do, but take it as you will. <laughs> okay, it's up to you to answer, but right yet again, the hangman coming through in reverse, mirror and Zeneca comes up right. It's like, there could be someone here in your environment. This could be something that maybe it's like, you know, whatever it is. Um, they are limitless in the way. They see the world as a party to attend when it comes to creativity. So somebody here doesn't want to define, let's say, they don't want to be at that level. And that's funny because we're talking about boundaries here, right? The boundaries speak of defining a certain space and be at the space that you do not define, that you define as that. Take it as you will. The boundaries of there being no space that we can set. I'm hearing uh, on, I'm hearing a certain spectrum. Wow, I'm hearing of a definite, um, matter. Wow, I don't know what that's take as you will, Capricorn. <laughs> okay. All right. Now for a number of you, there's a little bit of confrontation. I'm not going to lie. You're working with really big markers. I'm hearing on the timeline here, Capricorn, we're working with the concept of time itself uh, ruled by Saturn. We're working with things that we don't see. I'm hearing, but we see. I'm hearing coming down the line, things that perhaps we have sort of initiated that we uh, are uh, also to carry out. What does that mean? Oh, is that karma? <laughs> oh, okay, let's clear that. So for a memory, you've got the Father Pentacles leading out. You're very comfortable with a certain aspect of this cycle. I'm hearing this, this dream ultimately, and also this ability to take what has been created, look at it in a sober manner, and think, what now does it become the world leading out so for a number of you you know there's a constructive energy that we're stepping into and everyone has capricorn energy in their car in their chart in their cart <laughs> i'm about to check out i got capricorn in my chart i'm about to check 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 out all right <laughs> so the extended reading oh, okay we're gonna jump with that next capricorn we're gonna see where these energies really lead with the world here leading you out but it's something that possibly you feel it's like in this way let's backtrack and ground rather there's something that you feel you see very clearly now to create. So let's jump into that reading. Be extended here. Father Cups and Reverse looking back at the strength card. It comes down to something you really you're seeing. I'm seeing it this way for you, Capricorn. Like you want to you want to publicly represent. Okay, so let's see what comes through there. Let me let you fly again.